Hi, welcome to DIY Ideas. Today we're doing what to do when you're bored projects. Our first idea is for sorting stuff out. So I made this lovely file. So for example, we're sorting your stickers like I did here or your other pieces of paper or even putty, for example. So it's for pretty much anything you want. So this is what it looks like from the outside and I hope you guys like the way it looks. It's highly customizable. So let's get started and do this all by ourselves. So you need some envelopes and then you need some pretty paper or cardboard paper. I chose pink and pattern blue. Then we need some glue, a pen and our scissors. And that's it. So let's start. I don't need these top sections of my envelopes. So I'll take one envelope and I'll mark the size on my cardboard paper. This side is a bit longer, so it won't fit that way, so I'll do it the other way around. Cut out. We need one pink, one two. Both sides are a bit over the envelope so that they don't stick out later. So let's glue the envelopes together. Make sure you align them nicely. If you want, you can use other sizes and shapes as well. So I let this dry a bit and this is what I have for now, so a lot of room inside. So now we can do the final step and glue this onto my cardboard paper. In the middle. So now we're doing this top lid on here. Again, take care that your envelopes are looking in the right direction. Now comes pink too. We want to cover the envelope section so that we have a cover on all sides. I'll glue the pink over this section. Turn and finish this section as well. Now 
let the glue dry now. Okay, so here we are. This looks amazing. And now I want to make two cuts here so that I can make a little closing mechanism. So I'll show you what I want. There we are. So this isn't working as well as I expected. I think it's because of the paper. So I'll do it on the sides one more time. Okay, that's a lot better. So you see, we have a lot of room inside so that you can organize everything in there. And I'll put some of my stickers inside to show you an example. I'll take my llama shaped notebook as well. There we go. And that's it. So let's start with our next idea. Okay, idea number two is a cork board. So again, something to organize your stuff with in a little bit different way. So this is a coaster for pots and pans out of cork. So this is a small one. Of course, you can take bigger sizes if you like and if you find them, different shapes as well. So I'm doing a watermelon. So I have here green, black and red. So the paints, two brushes and some pins that we are going to pin onto the board. So you can do one plain color or a pattern or pretty much whatever you like. So whatever you plan ahead. So the colors here are for a watermelon and I'm going to color red here in the middle, green on the edges, and I'm going to do a couple of seeds inside. Of course, you can choose your own colors if you want to do something else, but I'll show you on this example. So let's get started. So I'm covering some sides a couple more times because it's kind of showing. I gotta let it dry a bit. I'll do the black seeds. The red worked with a thin layer, so I think we can start with the seeds already. Okay, so here is my pin board, so I'll show you an example with my stickers. So you can do a big piece or a small one. My idea is to do different fruit like this, or you can cut letters out of multiple circles and then have your name in pretty colors, done in different colors even if you'd like. So yeah. These boards you can find almost anywhere. So yeah, it should be easy to find and easy to do. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed both projects. Feel free to let me know which one you like better and stay tuned for our next video. Have a great day. Bye.